What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Behind the Yellow Tape. Today we're gonna to talk a little bit about our service department and what they do and how they get it done. Um, one of the most critical roles that we have here at Colonial Web is a service coordinator and they kind of bridge the gap between the customers and our service techs and they are the ones that help coordinate the excellent service that we provide to all of our customers out there. And today we have Laura with us who is a service coordinator down here in our Norfolk office. We're gonna ask her a few questions, get a little bit more information on how she helps us meet the customer's needs. Okay, so describe to us your role of service coordinator a little bit. So um, service coordination is basically we are here to make sure the customer's needs are met. Um, basically what we do is, is we make sure the technicians are dispatched in accordance to urgency and requirements and expectations. One of our big goals is to make sure we establish a good relationship with the customer. Uh, we have strategic account managers that um, keep a relationship with the customer, but a lot of times it's the, the relationships with the customers and the company thrive on the technicians and the service coordinators because they talk to us more on a one-on-one -on -one basis and cons you know there's a lot of sure. consistency with it. Right. Yeah. So obviously you have a lot of passion for this job mm -hmm. and that's a big part of it yep. but what makes you what do you think makes you such a great coordinator the fact that I love working with my customers and I love working with the people that I work with here and it just makes everything flow a lot easier for me I think the best part about it is the belly laughs the belly laughs that you get from you know what I mean <laughs> there's just a lot of belly laughs that happen just just the things the experiences it just makes it it makes it so much fun major part of the challenge is a technician or a customer calls I've got all my technicians on service calls. Right. It's a 90 degree day. I got everybody on service calls. Everything's an emergency. And I got a customer who has a high rise building and their entire loop system has shut down. Yeah, that's not good. And that puts, I mean, the customer's in panic and I have in turn empathized their panic and I'm in panic. It, it works out in the end. All the call, you know, all the cards fall as they will. Sure. And it works out for everybody and the customer ends up happy. But when that, when I get that initial phone call, I'm like, I'm feeling Nervous. your, I'm feeling Nervous. your yeah. pain, my friend, and now I'm gonna get this app. So, how do you go through and manage all of that with with all these different personalities on a daily basis that you're interacting with? How do you manage all of that? So, it's really about shifting energies, shifting your energies on when you talk to people. Oh. I have a customer in my mind um, that I cannot be funny with. I have to be very, very professional with sure. him um, because that's his expectation. Is um, this is not a phone call to you know have any kind of you know friendship? It's I want to be very professional and get off the phone. Sure. Totally cool. Yeah. I think I've got another customer who wants to talk to me an hour about his vacations, and I love it. Yeah. You know, and it's really just about making sure that the customer is comfortable with talking to me and comfortable with the setting that is presented so they can open up to me and we can have that relationship. Right, so I guess on that point as well, you have your technicians out here and they all have their certain capabilities and yeah. you have these customer needs. Yeah. So how do you balance that? That's, a, that's gotta be a tough act. Um, I'm thankful that we have a fully diversified team. They're fully capable of doing whatever the task is needed. Sure. I can, if we have a chiller down, I know I can send any, any one of my guys on my team and they can take care of it. Sure. If they are running into an issue, all of every single person it, it will have their phones on them and they are ready to help they're happy to help and they will drop things if they can to run out and help right and it's just it's we work together as not only a team but as a family and we make sure that we don't see our guys fall and we don't see our customer you know go without comfort sure so. sure so tell me a little bit about your favorite part of your job i know we talked about challenging part but what's the best part of it um, there's always something different to do. So I mean, something new every day, right? Yeah, there's always something new. I mean, I'm learning, I'm always learning something new or I'm always having to do something new because we get so much diversified customers and they have random requirements sometimes that I'm like, I've never done this before, but I'm going to learn today. And that usually <laughs> happens at least once a month. Well, it sounds to me like you have a really fast paced job. You can do a lot of different things and you're very obviously very passionate about it. Yeah. And um, we just want to thank you so much for being on the show with us today. Yeah. It was a great conversation. I mean, we, I think I learned a lot about service coordination and obviously how important it is to the customers out there. And yeah. um, we look forward to having you here and watching you grow and continue your career here at Colonial Web. Thanks. So Thanks. thank you guys. Thanks everyone for tuning into this episode. Behind the Yellow Tape is a video series created by us here at Colonial Web 
to kind of give you guys a little bit inside scoop about what goes on at a mechanical contracting company. Colonial Web is one of the largest commercial mechanical and electrical contractors here in the Mid-Atlantic region. We specialize in service and construction in HVAC, plumbing, electrical, refrigeration, and industrial refrigeration. Yeah, and if you guys want to learn anything more about Colonial Web, please visit our website, colonialweb.com. And of course, you don't want to miss any more of these awesome videos, so make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's growing every day, more content posted weekly. Check it out. Thanks, guys.